Hello all. So in this session, we will discuss how to create a custom module in Odoo 40. So we use the PyCharm ID to create or to make customizations in Odoo. So <coughs> we have a folder inside uh, the Odoo 14 directory named custom add-ons and inside that I have created a folder sorry our module directory called lab management and under this lab management we create models security use and the init.py file including the manifest.py file so these four uh, yeah, that is models security use and the other two py files are mandatory for a custom module even though security is not that uh, necessary so we'll discuss uh, one by one each inside the models uh, we can see the init.py file under this init.py file we just uh, import our uh, other py files which we have in the models directory that is I have created a file called lab underscore patient here and inside this patient I have created a model called lab dot patient and I have given a rec name uh, and the description for this model has is given as patient and I have added few fields here and uh, I have also uh, some compute uh, functions for uh, the fields in this model so all this uh, regarding the compute functions and other uh, criteria you may have uh, seen our earlier videos so uh, the thing is that um, the py file under this model directory is imported in the init.py file uh, inside the models and in the, as next we can see the security file security directory inside the security directory uh, you can see a csv file named ir.model.access in this csv file we just mentioned the id name model id and group of each um, models to uh, grant them permission re for reading writing creating and unlinking the model uh, based on the users so here uh, we have given the uh, model for our sorry security file for our model which we created in the py file here that is lab.patient and only when if we provide the security file uh, for security for that model our program or mod, uh, custom add-on will be get installed so here uh, we'll explain how we can uh, give the security for a model that is access underscore is a compulsory field uh, afterwards uh, we just enter the name of that field and that is this name can be uh, changed as it is the id so we just usually we just give lab underscore patient or oh, sorry access underscore lab underscore patient and this name is the model name and the next we must enter this in this format that is model underscore uh, model name separated by underscore instead of dot and then if we have some group for this we will just enter the group here group underscore lab underscore management underscore user and we will explain how we have created a group here and here we have granted all the permission that is one 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 that is this particular user can create read and unlink the, in this model next we have defined a security group here so in the security group we provide we just create a new record in the model called ir.module.category and here you can see we gave an id to make the record unique and the name given here is lab underscore sorry lab management so that under the settings uh, under each users you can see a name called lab management where we have created two records called lab user that is a security group called lab user and another security group called lab manager so you, you might have noticed that 
the manager will have all the provision to see all data in the uh, system whereas the user will be limited in some scenarios uh, regard when, when it comes uh, regarding the account section or the patient's details etc so in such ca cases we create the security groups and next in the views we can see now here in the models we models directory we have created a model to store the data of the data in of our patients in the table called lab dot patient now in the front end we have to display our form view to fetch or to get data from the users in order for, uh, to do that we create a new xml file where we create or design the front end and it is uh, the file is uh, created in the views directory and here you can see we are just open the xml tag in, and afterwards on the odo tag we create the data and first here we create a menu item this menu item is for uh, okay uh, let's do one thing we can just uh, install this module and see before that we'll just uh, explain how or what is the other two PO files so inside the init.py file under model directory we just imported the model files in that directory now the whole directory must be imported in the main init.py file that is from dot import model so that the all models will be imported into the main file and next in the in manifest.py file we give the name of our module and the version version can be changed uh, accordingly and the summary summary is a short uh, description about our custom module and the description also can be uh, here you can mention it briefly how and what your uh, module serves and in the depends uh, you can just enter those modules which are dependent on this module so those modules which our module depend on so that uh, you can you can exchange data or you can call other views or something like that so here in this case we have just depend upon the base module and the data in this data we just import the or just specify the path of our security file that is our group file security group file called the lab underscore users xml file and the security granting file csv that is ir.model.access and the views which we have created and we just mentioned the path for those two uh, directories next here you can see the license uh, this is a gpl3 license it means we can modify the code according to your convenience there are some other uh, license too you can refer in our website and here if this installable installable option is true this module will display in the app so that you can just install this module according to your convenience if it is marked as false this cannot be installed and auto install false means um, this module will not get installed automatically once you run the service only if you manually attempt to install this module this will get installed and only if you enable the option application as true this app will be uh, shown in the interface for if you try to install this app now let us run the service and let us create our app sorry uh, let us see our app so i have to refresh my system and now i have this so before that inside the pycharm we have created our lab underscore management custom add-on in the custom add-on directory so we must enter the path of these custom add-ons in the odoo.config our main config file as you can see i have entered the path of that file that is simply you can just put a cursor on these custom add-ons just click that custom add-ons and press ctrl shift c so that the path will be copied and just paste that in the add-ons path so that the add-ons inside that particular directory will be considered uh, once we uh, refresh the service now i have refreshed the service and i will just search for lab 
you can see lab underscore management is seen here now let us try to install that mode now our module is installed and if you try in the menu section you can see our module called laboratory why this laboratory is showing in this particular menu is because you can see in the lab underscore patient XML file we have entered the menu item here that is we have entered a menu item called laboratory with a sequence of 40 this 40 sequence represents the position which it, uh, it stands in the list and this group here indicates the security group which we created you can just copy the uh, um, what do we say the group id here you can just copy this id and paste that here so that this particular menu will be only available for in the front end for that particular users and who are categorized in that security group so here in this case we are just uh, copied both the uh, groups uh, id so that both this will be available uh, for all the security group members and the next record we create a uh, <coughs> Uh, Kanban view patient in which we have uh, we'll, we'll, so I'll, before that I will show you how our module looks like so this is the overview you can see this is the patients and uh, you now we can create a patient here test and the patient name gender all these uh, indicated in this color are required fields the date of birth, let us say age, phone number, and say the email. Now I am just saving this patient form. Now you can see the form is saved, and if I come back, you can see the Kanban view. That is, here we have created a view called Kanban, and you can see the id here this id we have just given here that is see kanban view patient here we have defined a model called mod inside a model uh, lab dot patient we created a more uh, ir id sorry record with id a kanban view patient inside the model ir dot ui dot view and here we are defining a kanban view and this Kanban view contains our patient here you can see in the Kanban view the patient name and patient ID so all those two are contained inside our patient name uh, our Kanban view in the next record I have created a tree view to contain same data of this patient as you can see here if I click on the list view here you can see the patient's tree view so for that i have defined a record in which i mentioned the uh, 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 name and the model priority priority stands for just uh, indicating the position in the view and the name uh, and i have just gave the tree uh, what all fields does it contain and here for the form view in which we created the patient before is from this record that is uh, inside the form view we defined a sheet and in which we created uh, the fields for fetching or getting users name uh, gender the data such as field name gender date of birth which we ended the and so and also we had the uh, note page also in the patient form view so this is how we create a um, custom add-on for our uh, purpose and also regarding the security group for this module inside the settings in the sorry in the users you can see if you select any user you can see edit you can see an option for La other in this lab management we have created two users called lab user and lab manager as we have mentioned it in the security uh, lab users here the name we gave is lab user and lab manager 
so that the, we can make restrictions on data visibility so this is how we create a new uh, custom add-on in Odoo 40 also we can use a scaffold method uh, which we have already uh, we have a video for that already in our website okay uh, I will add that in the description so uh, I hope it's clear about uh, how to create a custom add-on or a uh, custom module in Odoo 14. Thank you.